Hey, welcome back. So yesterday we made this fun little blaster, sci-fi blaster that um, I invite you to check out that tutorial. It took about 20 minutes and it was a lot of fun to just kind of uh, test a few new uh, tools and kind of sculpt this little weapon. Now in this video I just want to show uh, a very useful little trick that will allow you to quickly add details using uh, bass relief here in ZBrush and I feel like maybe this is somewhat underused feature and it's just really cool and powerful. Initially when it came out most people were using it just for you know, uh, coins, projections, and that kind of thing. But you could use it on anything, uh, pretty much any surface. And the uh, nice thing about bass relief that it will actually hog curvature, right? So let's test this and see how this actually works. Say I'm gonna click on this uh, star here. Let's say I wanna take this star and add it as a design on my uh, sci-fi weapon here. So how would I do that? How would I grab this star or pretty much any uh, shape, any 3D shape? and turn it into something that curves the cur curves the surface and projects itself onto the uh, mesh. So to do this, we can use something called Bass uh, Relief and you can find it under Alpha. So I actually have my Alpha dragged out here. Um, if you open up your Alpha uh, options, you can see that in here, there's something called Bass Relief. And let's see how this actually works on a curved surface. So I'm going to click on the star here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it as I, uh, you know, I'm going to choose the angle that I like and I could choose any angle whatsoever. It's going to create an alpha for me. So it doesn't really matter what angle I choose. So you just have to decide what do you want the uh, image to be. So in my case, I want it kind of straight and uh, let's say I am happy with this. I can come over here into alpha um, options and I can click on something called make bass relief. As soon as I click on it, you can see that ZBrush created an alpha right in here of this image, which means I can jump back into my uh, sci-fi weapon here and I'm going to use my standard brush. I'm going to select my drag um, option here. And with this being selected, check this out, as long as your active symmetry is on, and I'm gonna set it to Z. In my case, that's uh, what is needed. And I can just simply drag this design right onto here. And as I drag this out, let's say I like it turned a little bit, so maybe something like that. It actually matches the curvature of my surface, which is really, really cool, right? And if I wanted to control the intensity, let's say maybe I don't want it to be so prominent, I can drag this down to 20 and drag that out so it's a little bit lighter. And the uh, only uh, thing that you need to make sure is that the mesh that you're dragging it on has enough detail. So this is subdivided enough times for me to hold the resolution of this image. And you can see how you can very quickly create amazing detail, uh, which is really cool. And for one more uh, example, let's maybe drag a, a skull right here on the handle. So how would I do that? So I'm going to go inside this same star and I'm going to go into my light box and under tools, there's a uh, character called Nick Z human male. So I'm going to double click on that and press comma on my keyboard to hide my light box. And uh, with this character that ZBrush gives you, there's a uh, skeleton or a skull, right, that comes with it. So let's go ahead and press shift to unlock everything and then hold on the shift again to hide everything. Let's just simply select this uh, skull and press F. And I'm going to decide what angle I like. So maybe instead of doing something flat, maybe I can do something interesting along these lines. Now I'm, I do need to subdivide it, so I'm going to press Control uh, D a few times. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And let's say I'm happy with this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make another bass relief. And you can see that another uh, snapshot was taken, and this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to go back into my weapon. I'm going to press F to zoom out. I'm going to press Alt and click to select my uh, handle. And again, just need to make sure that it has enough uh, resolution. All right, so now I can just simply drag the skull uh, right onto the handle. And there you have it, so it's on both sides. 
So a cool little uh, kind of, again, I feel like maybe a little bit underused uh, trick. And I hope you find this useful and you can use this in your project. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next one.